It's about 11.30 now, where when I first started laying this out and cutting this out of the door panel, it was 8.30. So what I've done is I've taken the power window regulator, motor, and everything out of a extra door panel. So what this is doing, I went ahead and I cut a channel. This is just one inch square tubing. I went ahead and cut a channel down the middle using a plasma cutter. If you don't have that, you can always use a... Uh, like a, a cutoff grinder with a cutoff wheel. But I made that for the channel. And then this will be the base because I'll build a frame next. And this is the tray that's going to slide forward and backwards. So the rubber band is being used at the moment. Well, I don't have a spring, but that's where a spring is going to go. I did that because of the angle. So when this starts going forward, I don't want it to, to lunge and make a real abrupt movement. I'd like it to be smooth. So. And then I tried to find the angle so that it would keep this parallel between here and here. So right now I'm just grounding the motor. Of course that hung up on this. So when I get to my top point, I know that basically I've got about the same 17 inches. Of course I've had a little movement because when you're using plywood, it allows you to change your positions real quickly, but it also allows things you know, to ream out because the screws are pulling through the wood. But anyway, see, that's where I'm getting movement that I didn't have when I first started. But this is just a way to get the process down. And by having, by having this rubber band here, it makes it smooth when I start back up. So this will be the position where it comes backwards. And then of course the motor stops automatically when it reaches the end of its end of its uh, track, you know, of the gears. So this way, by having the rubber band here, it's already putting backwards pressure so that this doesn't jump. See, and that went forward pretty smoothly. It was jerking really bad. So there you have it.